happy Monday, everybody. I hope everybody enjoyed my ramblings from last Thursday. Um, I know they were just the most entertaining thing since the new Disney movie, the new Lawn 3 premiere. And it's, uh, it's a pretty good Monday. Got a nice little overcast here. I just had a couple of uh, keto announcements this weekend. Announcements, updates, motivational talks. I use the word announcements very loosely. Basically, I just wanted to update you on a couple things, give you a heads up of where I'm at in my ketogenic journey. journey. And that has to do with uh, dropping a couple pant sizes. I went down from a 38 that I've been at since college to a 34. Uh, parentheses at Old Navy. You know, I wore a size 38 khaki at Old Navy forever, and now I wear a size 34. That's two pant sizes since January, pretty much. You know, I've been on, I've been in, uh, been doing low carb keto stuff since August of 2016, but I didn't know what keto was until about November, December of last year. And before then, I thought you just ate stuff that was low in carbs. I don't know where I got that information. I think I was just kind of half acid it, which is the shocker for folks that know me. Kind of thought, you know, you just eat low carbs. A lot of, I would eat, I would eat like a salad and then bacon, and then you know, some more low carb stuff, some lavash bread. I probably ended up at about 50 to 80 carbs a day because I never counted. I just said, oh, it's low carb. We'll just eat some of that. But I still lost that water weight, so I knocked off that first 20 pounds. You know, pretty quick, kept it off, because I would, you know, I would go, I'm gonna go low carb again, and then I would cheat. Low carb, cheat. And then January, I started, I somebody told me about, somebody told me what I was trying to do was called keto. Around the, around the middle of the year, somebody told me what I was trying to do was called keto, so I was like, all right, uh, so 20 carbs, eh? <laughs> So that's when I started doing the 20 carbs. That's when the that's when the fat started coming off. So I went from uh, you know just the 20 off to the extra. Now I'm down. I'm down 45 pounds. And I've been keeping. I've been at 45 for a couple of weeks now. I'm probably down more. Just need to clean out the old innards. And that little TMI there. But as far as being down two pant sizes, I thought that was pretty cool. And and in the Levi, I went down just one size. But I think uh, 38 might have been too big for me. And, well, no. I went down just one size in Levi from 38 to a 36. But the uh, I went to a slim fit 36. So that's I consider that almost two sizes in Levi because ever since I can remember, you know, from the days of the Husky jean back in back in school, um, I was always in like a, a relaxed fit, a loose fit. And I went from a you know that relaxed fit boot cut to a uh, slim fit. Not, not skinny jeans, but a, slim, a slimmer fit. It doesn't have the, I can't fit like a Pizza Hut basketball on the rear end between my leg and my nice and tall disease. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I'm not telling you this to brag. Well, I am kind of bragging because I like the fact that I can I actually see in real world results that I can look at in the mirror. But I'm telling you this is motivation because I, I used to eat like stuff by the pounds. I would have hamburgers in two hands and now I'm down to being, I'm down pretty strict to eat, you know, just veggies, veggies and a meat, or just veggies sometimes. And I still go nuts on the, I still go nuts on bacon and breakfast food on the weekends because I, that's what I do. That's good stuff. Who doesn't love the good breakfast stuff? There's nothing better. How about, you know, I've always been kind of against the, uh, the desserts people make on the, the keto desserts because it, they say, Every one of them is like Splenda, artificial sweetener. You know, I try to stay away from that and not get addicted to it. But last night I was, last night the kids all had an ice cream sandwich. They were enjoying it. I was like, God, I just wish I had something. You know, I could just eat, I could either, you know, grab a strawberry or or maybe a slice of turkey. But I didn't want that. I, I just wanted something. You know, sometimes you just want a donut. That's half, that's half the battle because your, your body craves it craves the sweet after the savory for some reason it's just the way we work but I went ahead and made a uh, made these little ketogenic cookies they're uh, my almond flour egg they've got some Splenda Splenda in them because we have some left over from when we used to make a lot of tea a lot of Splenda tea back in the day back when we weren't as weren't as healthy and as we were more rotund so I figured maybe some of that's not as bad as some some artificial sweetener not bad but 
I think the way some folks pound it, it's leading to a lot of the health problems, but I'd keep it to a bare minimum. Crossing the old Flint River Bridge. Wish I was out on that water today. After that rain we got this weekend, it's probably a little bit higher. We got some guy tailgating me now. I'm about to drop down about 10 miles an hour. Oh, an update on my intermittent fasting. I'm still doing it. I thought about eating, you know, grabbing some breakfast this morning, but I didn't. I went ahead and made the, the Yeti cup full of half bulletproof coffee because I just, I don't even put butter in it anymore. I just use the coconut oil, a little bit of a, almost a whole teaspoon, not much. Right. It's enough to flavor it a little, give it a little kick. Cause that, that coconut oil gives me, a, gives me, gives me jacked up like I always say. And I noticed that, uh, you know, I said last week that I'd been leaving the oil out for that week. The week before I had not. The week before I used oil, last week I didn't. And I lost, I seem to lose more weight when I use the oil. I think that has less to do with uh, fat loss and more to do with, you know, your body metabolizing and getting rid of all the excess. You know what I'm saying? If you catch my drift, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and add it back in, but minimally. I don't want to go. Don't want to go over. You know, I dare say over on calories. It's not about calories. But I don't want to go basically over on calories just from uh, my morning coffee. So I'm just keeping that to a minimum, but still keep it in there because I believe it. I believe it actually helps. I noticed. I noticed a difference. The train wasn't stopping as regularly at the station over the last week. If you, if you get the all right, I'm going to quit talking about it. So that is my quick keto announcement thing. I'm, uh, you know, I'm playing with the format of a podcast. So, you know, I'm trying to get a couple of topics in one. You know, I got update on where I'm at, and I, IF, a little bit of IF update, maybe some different topics. And another thing, somebody on the keto playground was asking last night. Um, one of the new members, she'd only been on keto about a week. She said, uh, she said she got kicked out of another group, <laughs> group for asking a question that you know a lot of people want to know. I've wondered before and was scared to ask. You know, she said, uh, can she go keto through the week for six days and on Sunday, you know, pound pound some more carb enriched food. The reason she asked is because she had lost uh, she lost a lot of weight. I think three to three or five pounds. I can't remember now because it was late when she did was talk telling me. Uh, three, three to five pounds in the first week of keto, and then, then she ate on Sunday dinner at her family's house, and she wanted to know if she could do it and still lose all that weight. I said, yeah, initially you can lose a bunch of weight by doing that because I lost the 20. That's what I was getting at when I first started the video. I lost the 20, and I didn't even know what, what keto was. I was just eating straight-up low-carb stuff all the time, just cutting out all the sugar. Yeah, but you will lose that 10 to 20 real quick, and you can probably cheat a lot in the first few first few weeks. And she was saying that she only wanted to lose 30 pounds, so I'm thinking you may get by with it. I mean, if, if your goal weight is only you know 20 to 30 pounds, you can probably cheat the first six weeks of it a lot if you're really strict through the week. <clears throat> but if you want to keep it off, or if you want to lose a lot like me, I want to lose. Uh, I think 60, I wanted to lose 80 pounds when I started. 50, 50 was my first goal and then 80 was my second. You know, if we go from 258 to, to 170. So I can't, I can't cheat, but maybe once every two months, maybe. And that's only like over a weekend. You know, right now I'm sitting at about 210, 213. I'd say I'm probably about 210 now, if, if all things. If everything was gone from me, about 210, maybe maybe this, maybe like 208, I don't know. I don't want to put myself. But right now, I'm sitting in a really good weight. Like, I, um, all my clothes are fitting better. You know, I, mean, I went down to a new weight class. I even bought that those jeans are a few sizes small that were smaller than I usually wear. So I could have something to grow into for the next couple of months. But when I get to 170, God knows what that's going to be. Maybe by the end of the year. I'm not going to rush it as long as I get there eventually. When I make it down to 170, that's when I'll, uh, you know, do you do maintenance or do you go on a lower, do you go on like a more balanced diet where you eat kind of regular food? I don't know. 
That's going to be a tough call there. My mom was asking me about it yesterday. What are you going to do when you reach your goal weight? Are you going to keep doing that? I'm like, well, I, I can't keep doing 20 carbs a day because I'll drop, I'll drop pounds. I want to get, I want to get 170 where I can look like a, look like I'm healthy and not look like a 10 year old boy. So yeah, if, if you've got a plan, if you've done, if you've reached it, and what do you do once you reach it? I'm gonna say I'm more, a little pretty mature on that because I still got, you know, 40 pounds to go till then. Hopefully by the end of the year. I know this thing was just interesting. It could be. I just wanted. I wanted to throw up a video and I wanted to test out, try to do some, try to do things more, <clears throat> more often, do a video more often, you know, maybe, and start the podcast. I started cleaning my desk off this week, this weekend. I, <clears throat> I went back there this morning to get a check for daycare and I looked and my desk was kind of clean, about half of it. I said, man, what, what did I do? Like, apparently I got really motivated one night this week, weekend. I didn't even notice. I didn't even remember it. Not like I'm a drunk or anything just happened took some keto Adderall do they make do they make that I've never had regular Adderall once I get once I get a fo little format put together for a podcast it's gonna be pretty sweet I would love to have people on as guests and stuff uh, have like a Skype set up I don't know how many of you watch podcasts or listen to podcasts but they'll have a you know they'll have a Skype set up and people can make comments and you answer questions and I'm I'm pretty sure a lot of the material will come from the weekly discussions out of the playground playground group because we're getting some heated ones on there sometimes especially as we add more and more members we're almost to 400 um, maybe one day we'll get, when we get closer to a thousand like the bigger the bigger groups when they get they get a uh, stuff in there all day because they they got you know, 10 20 thousand some of them got like 70 thousand in there and they just go and go and go and I'll pick out some discussions and make those suckers a whole podcast that God, it's gonna be great this stuff's so much fun to talk about because it, as many people that do it, there's that many more that don't don't know it, that don't do it. You got them coming in, they're desperate. I always see people. I just want to. I want to diet, but you know, I just love my cake. Well, everybody loves their cake. Like my buddy Coots, who's on the keto playground, always says, "Of course I love cake. Who doesn't love cake?" I just don't want to die at 30 because of it. And I love I love French fries and nachos. But damn it, I like fitting in the smaller clothes too. And it's almost pretty much worth it. The fact that stuff just looks good on me now, instead of looking like I'm stuffing 10 pounds of shit in a five pound sack. It's a tit for tat situation there. So I'll close her on out. So I'm just rambling on now because I I need to start writing down a little layout for these things. I just grabbed the camera this morning. I saw it sitting there. So I'm gonna grab a camera, make a vlog, talk some smack, and see what happens. That's how it is. I'm gonna wrap this thing up, and everybody, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I know you had it on your calendar. Just don't forget. I don't know why people say that. Like you're gonna remember anyway. Like, comment, subscribe. Join the uh, Keto Playground on Facebook where there are no keto Nazis allowed. I may make that my intro. This is kind of fun too. I've been rambling on this about 20 minutes in. I'm not all of them will make it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Join the Keto Playground on Facebook where no keto Nazis are allowed. And we talk, you can ask any question, nobody's gonna Nobody's going to report you to the admin for saying the word cheap or sugar. And you don't have to post every recipe that's just bacon wrapped in bacon on top of bacon wrapped in cheese wrapped in lettuce wrapped in egg. Because that's just stupid. That, stuff, that flavor gets old. That flavor gets so old. It got old for me the first week before I even knew what keto was. Keep calm and keto on, folks. And we will see you tonight.